Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you my other altered birdhouse that I made into a little mini house. I had a great time making the first one and I worked on this one right away. I had already posted pictures on my Facebook um, but wanted to share with all of you in my videos of how I put this little house together. Again, you can get this at Joann's where they sell all the unfinished um, birdhouses. I wanted to make a little shabby chic home and I use Webster's Pages Wonderfall and Hollywood Vogue collection. Really gorgeous papers to work with. Um, first I painted the entire birdhouse with the Apple Barrel white acrylic paint. Then I edged all the edges um, with the Distress ink in the vintage photo. On the sides here as well as the base and the design paper I added my favorite Distress stickles in the clear rock candy. For the front here, I cut out the design paper to cover the front of the house. And this image right here I cut out. I thought it was perfect. It said home sweet home and I just love this adorable little bird. On the sides here, again, I cut out the design paper. I cut out these images to um, use as my windows. Uh, edged it with the vintage photo and then added the rock candy stickles. For my door right here, I use the Sizzix rectangle combo frames. I basically use the inside of this one right here. I trimmed it a little bit, um, added the design paper, edged it with a vintage photo, added the rock candy stickles, and then a pearl um, as my doorknob. And of course, I have to have flowers on the side of my house, and I love roses. So I add these cute little rose buds that you can get at ironroses.com. So I put it on both sides of the house. On the roof here, I got this gorgeous lace from a rack and basically just layered these pieces on top of one another. So there's three. I add the piece also um, as an accent to my roof, to the front, as well as the back. And added some flat back pearls. And then I used my Martha Stewart butterfly punch and added some butterflies on the roof. So I have two here and then I have one here on the edge. And then the back is pretty simple. I just added the design paper and distressed it with the vintage photo. And then added design paper on the side too as well. And then because there were holes inside the birdhouse, I covered it also with the design paper like I did with the first one. And so that's the little house. And here's the little mini. Again, this is using the bind it all with the antique brass O wires. So it only took three. And I got this beautiful crocheted um, lace from Carla. So thank you again, Carla, so much. This is an Iron Roses flower. I used um, my Stampin' Up! Punch. I really loved how it said enjoy life and thought it would be perfect for the front. I distressed all the edges of the house with the vintage photo. Kept it pretty simple um, because as you can see, it's a very limited space and I want to be able to um, add my photos. And besides the... Um, Pictures of, um, I mean, the design papers of Webster's pages are just so gorgeous. Um, you really don't have to add so much embellishment to it. So I just cut out some images and add some dimensional stickers on the back. I'm here again using my Martha Stewart butterfly punch. As you can see, really beautiful images. And again, Carla's beautiful laces. I love this one. It's really cute. Really simple. And I love here how it said count your blessings. thought that was just perfect. And so you can create a cute little house as well as a little mini album inside. And then I just wanted to share with you a card that Ashley just handed to me. So adorable. She loves making cards for me. I can't tell you how many I have. So let's see what she made. Oh, thank you, Ash. She drew a picture of me and her. How cute. Thank you. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Bye.